<laughs> my brother Juma, yo, appreciate you coming through, brother. Economic appreciate freedom the, fighter, South Africa. Our brother Kitty connected us. Get the land us. back. EFF, yeah, I didn't even realize your shirt. Right. That's what's up. Yeah, I had that made. I made that myself. You know, that, Julius Malima. The, the, the struggle the, still continues. There you go, family. And what you see right here is that four by four vehicle that we're gonna be driving around in the sand dunes. So that's gonna be fun. And what you're looking at is Shea Salim. And I'm trying to get my pronunciation of different things down. But this is a beautiful resort. And now we're going to look to get some lunch later. And also, it's uh, somewhere where we can just build fresh relationship. Mr. Bomani Dakari, it's hot. Uh, you want to remove that? No. How you feeling this morning, son? Good. You had a good rest? Yeah. You enjoying Africa? You enjoying Senegal? Hey, your sixth country. Isn't this place beautiful? Yes. Do this remind you of One Africa a little bit in Ghana? Yeah. Based on the based on the uh, the beautiful rooms, which also they call it uh, sh chalet, which is like. Reminds me of the resort in too. Okay, perfect. See, family, similarities in different parts of Africa. So what we have over here is a outside designated restroom so you travel with us sometimes you may think that we're just going to pull you over to the side and tell you to go use the restroom not necessarily in case of emergency you know we tell you to bring certain things but on our route we have wonderful things on our route to literally you know, make sure that you're, you're good so that's what we're doing family high level tourism Uh, no, no, it's probably more so unisex, but uh, you... um, it should be, it should, they're all, they're all unisex uh, for the most part. Oh, okay, thank you. And maybe someone can translate this word for us. You know a little French? Nope. <laughs> there you go, family. So, Philip, I know you know a little French. You know a little French? What's this word right here? <laughs> it's either going to be unisex or female. And family, I, I apologize. None of us know any French or any Wala. I know we're, we're trying to get ourselves organized. So that's why we have these wonderful tour guides and tour assistants. And they have been very helpful. That's another reminder that when we come here, you know, part of assimilating <laughs> to, Afri to Africa is diversifying our, our language skills, right? Yeah, I always so. ask myself do I want to learn another European language. It took me a long time to learn English. Right. <laughs> right. I know people think that's funny, but I've been telling them dead serious. Yeah. Like in Ghana, you should know tree or here. Walaf, yeah. You know? And then uh, in Tanzania, uh, Kiswahili. Yeah. So those are the things that we put in the book, language translation, to kind of motivate people yeah. to read it a little bit and get into it. And we're gonna promote those things a little, a little further. Right. Just my beautiful sister, aren't you having the journey of a lifetime? Isn't this beautiful? I'm having a wonderful time. It's gorgeous. It's, this looks like places like that they could spend the night. Oh yeah, this yeah this is a, a like resort. a full-fledged resort. So we're gonna make some accommodations for us to have you know, lunch here. Oh nice. And just enjoy it, so we can see more of it. So family, what we can do, Mr. Bomani Dakari. What's up with you? You want to use the restroom? Mm -hmm. We're going to get on those 4x4 four four vehicles and we're going to drive around the lake. And it's, they're on the sand dunes. It's going to be fun and exciting. You're going to love it. And family, I can't help myself. This place is so beautiful. Tropical paradise. Sound like either a, when those uh, bikes going around, you know, around the lake area. But yes, family, a beautiful pool to get your swim on.
Yeah. And this area is called Lock Rose and it's by the Pink Lake. And I want to say it took us about 30 to 45 minutes outside of the car to get here. Got to uh, go. Wish I can show you a little bit more. Don't want to be the bad leader and and not uh, be back at our meetup point. But yeah, there's more establishment up there to where you can check out. But I wanna. See what we got over here. So these are levels of investment family that we can do across the continent. And I'm um, trying to show you more of what's going on in Senegal outside of Dakar. Uh, just like outside of Accra or outside of Dar es Salaam, uh, outside of any major city that we go to, I uh, just want to show you that you know, urban development is important, but now we live in a world where we have so much urban development and beautiful cities. Now it's time to be focusing more on rural development. You know? One, two, three hours outside of uh, the main cities and build fresh establishment. So that's what we did when we first got to the country. We were one hour outside of Dakar and we saw the new city, the new airport area, and new establishment. How many acres do you have in Ghana? Uh, we have a 65 acre uh, community land and um, we're going to do a little bit of everything. So these are some of the ideas I like. Yes. Yes, my brothers, greetings, greetings. Do you have a brochure of the community? Of yeah, the I want you to visit a room, one of, the, one of the rooms, so you see what it's like. Well, perfect. And then if they have any brochures or yeah, cards or anything. I'm and, then also, if, and also, if we can get a lunch menu so we can process the lunch and okay. maybe. Yeah, let's go upstairs. And maybe text them. <laughs> perfect. So you're going to see it inside and what, what's the offer? All right, perfect. So, family. We are enjoying this wonderful resort. I'm <laughs> Can you make the game more of it? 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 